Do you have any advice for me? I'm going to trial in a month against my ex who was charged with coercive control. Rape was obviously dropped. I will need to give evidence and I'm terrified. I'm scared of how I will be perceived and what I should say and what I shouldn't. How do I hold myself? The police are absolutely useless in support and contact. I'm so sorry that that's happened to you. Um, and I'm so sorry that the rape was dropped. That's such, such a deeply appalling thing to happen. Um, in terms of giving evidence at court, I, all I can say to you is don't think about what people want to hear just, and it's a massive cliche, but just tell the truth. And I was being absolutely sincere when I spoke earlier about seeing cases where it's one person's word against another and the word of one person speaking the truth can be so compelling that it leaves absolutely no room for doubt. It is a really high bar for a criminal conviction. A court has to be sure. So whether it's a, I'm not sure if it's a jury hearing your case or a magistrate, but a, a court has to be satisfied so that they're sure. We used to say beyond a reasonable doubt, but it, it's a really, really high bar. Um, so. All I can say really is I'm, I'm so desperately sorry that that happened to you. Um, and if I, if I can help in any way once the trial's concluded, um, then, you know, you can just Google me and, and send me a tweet or an email or something. Yeah, and I'll, I'll do everything I can um, to try to get them to reopen the investigation into the rape. As for the coercive control trial, yeah, just tell the truth and tell it in your own words and take deep breaths and... Um, if, if there isn't a conviction, it's not your fault. It's because for a criminal conviction, a court has to be sure, which is such a, such a high bar. It doesn't mean that they didn't believe you. And it's absolutely not your fault if there isn't a conviction. Um, but yeah, deep breaths and um, maybe imagine us all in this room sitting next to you when you're giving evidence, quietly holding your hands.